Hello ladies and gerbils. It is I, the champ, the world wrestling champ right here. Just taking a break from reading a little bit of the book of Shogun. Just to talk to you about some news in the wrestling world. As we all know, this past Sunday was WrestleMania. Great pay-per-view. The opening was excellent. Not a big fan of The Rock, but you know, he was a little bit funny out there on Sunday night with Hogan and Stone Cold, two of my favorites. Daniel Bryan, Triple H, great match. Daniel Bryan goes to get the title match. Gets there, wins, makes it to the title match. Andre the Giant, Battle Royal, great. Didn't think Cesaro would be able to lift up the big show to eliminate him. As well, you know, you had the Bray Wyatt, John Cena match. Not a big fan of John Cena, but it was a decent match. And I feel that's because Bray Wyatt carried the match. Just my opinion, feel free to tell me I'm wrong, okay? And, uh, then you had the Divas title match. Thirteen Divas wrestling at once. Eh, it's an okay match. And then you go, of course, you know, you got the streak Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar. 21-0 versus Brock, who's trying to end the streak. Brock ends the streak. I was as shocked as anybody, but I knew. I just knew it was going to happen. And, of course, you had Daniel Bryan, Randy Orton, and Batista for the World Wrestling Entertainment World's Heavyweight Championship. Great match. Thought Bryan was going to be out of there because of that uh, left shoulder injury, but uh, pushed through and became the champion. Now, going back to Saturday night, as we all know, was the inductions into the Hall of Fame. This year, you had Paul Bearer going in, Rizzo Ramon. Carlos Colon, uh, Lita, Jake the Snake Roberts, Mr. T, and the Ultimate Warrior. So, of course, you know, the Ultimate Warrior is inducted with everybody else. Shows up for the ceremony, and, you know, so the crowd can see the Superstar Sunday. Goes to Raw on Monday, just shifting gears here. And sadly, the Ultimate Warrior passed away on Tuesday. And so, feel bad that the man's not with us anymore. Very iconic character. Not really a big fan of his, but he was a very iconic character in the world of pro wrestling. Even though he did legally change his name to just Warrior after winning a case to keep the name The Ultimate War and be able to use it. But, again, very iconic character so the war characters like the warrior i don't think will come along for a while but uh that's just the champ's view and tell the champ whether or not you agree so uh this is the champ over and out and he's a fatty and proud of it baby peace